Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So here is another interesting theorem. It says that suppose, so this theorem will be telling us how to find out the solution of uh, planar systems which are of this form x prime equal to ax. So it says that suppose v0 is an eigenvector for matrix A. So v0 is eigenvector for matrix A associated with eigenvalue lambda. So lambda is eigenvalue and v0 is corresponding eigenvector for A. Then x of t to be equal to e to the lambda t times v0 is solution of the system. So if you know eigenvalue and you know eigenvector then just compute this quantity it will be the solution to this system. So we can prove this this theorem it's not hard to prove. So we will just verify that uh, that this expression solves this system. So x of t is equal to e to the lambda times t v naught. So let's differentiate it. So if you find its derivative this is constant vector and just we need to compute the derivative of this quantity. So it's going to be lambda times e to the lambda t v naught. But we can write this same quantity in this form. So lambda v naught and then we know that uh, the lambda and v naught are eigenvalue and eigenvector. This is eigenvalue and this is eigenvector. So a v naught must be equal to lambda v naught. So I can write in place of this a v naught. So e to the lambda t times a v naught. In other words, I can write it a times e to the lambda t v naught. But this is equal to x, isn't it? This is equal to x. So I can replace this by x. So that means that x prime is equal to ax. And this means that this x of t equal to e to the lambda t times v naught is the solution of this uh, x prime to be equal to ax. We can take an interesting example of this as well. For example, we can take take one example. Let's consider this system x prime to be equal to ax where a is 6, minus 1, 2 and 3. So this system would be x prime equal to 6x minus y and y prime equal to 2x plus 3y. So a is this matrix and uh, you can calculate one of its eigenvalue is equal to 5 and corresponding vector is 1 comma 1. So this means that x of t equal to e to the 5t times 1 1 or e to the 5t e to the 5t must be solution to this system. We can verify that. It's not hard to verify that. We can check it out. For example, so this means that x of t is equal to 5t e to the 5t and y of t equal to e to the 5t. Let's calculate its derivative x prime. It's 5 times e to the 5t and if I calculate this quantity 6x minus y so this is going to be 6 e to the 5t minus e to the 5t which is again equal to 5 e to the 5t. So this means that for this x x prime and this are same. And similarly you can calculate y prime which is 5 times e to the 5t and you can calculate this to x uh, e to the 5t plus 3 e to the 5t which is 5 e to the 5t. Again this same. So that means that uh, this is going to be the solution. In fact uh, there will be another lambda as well lambda 2 you can check that this is 4 and you can calculate uh, the v, v2 maybe another vector eigenvector in this case it is going to be 1 2 so from here you will also be getting another solution so in this way one solution is going to be this and other solution will be coming from here and with this uh, you can solve this system so 
at the end of the day we will also be discussing that the general solution to this system will be the linear combination of this solution and also this solution let's let's move ahead so we can take motivation from the previous example we saw that x prime was equal to a times where 6 minus 1 2 3 and we had x y we know that lambda 1 was equal to 5 and v1 was equal to 1 comma 1 lambda 2 was equal to 4 and v2 you can calculate it it is 1 2 okay so we knew that uh, lambda 1 and v1 uh, were giving one solution to this system and it was e to the 5t times 1 1 and uh, we could also make another solution x2 of t to be equal to e to the 4t times 1 comma 2 so you can verify that this and this both are solutions to this system and from here we have a motivation that is telling us that uh, in fact the general solution of this system can be formed by the linear combinations of these two c1 times e to the 5t times 1 1 plus c2 times e to the 4t 1 2 so if we have two solutions of this system we already know that x1 and x2 uh, will separately be solving this system and if we combine these two linearly again this will be the solution to the system and in fact this will be the general solution to this system so in general in general if i'll be stating this re, uh, this uh, uh, result in an informal way if x1 of t and x2 of t are solutions to x prime to be ax then we can prove that z to be equal to c1 times x of t plus c2 times x of t is also solution to x prime to be ax so let's talk about let let's prove this so we know that x of t is equal to in this case z of t is equal to c1 times x of t x1 of t plus c2 times x2 of t and let me calculate x z prime of t so we can see that c1 times x1 prime of t and plus c2 times x2 prime of t but we know that x1 is solution to the system and x2 is also so i can write a x1 plus c2 times a x2 and then by the the simple properties of matrix a i can synthesize this out c x1 plus c x2 but we know that this is equal to z so that means our z of t maybe you can write x of t here x of t here so this is a times z of t and this is this means that z prime of t to be equal to a times z and what does this mean this means that this is the linear combination of those two particular solutions x1 and x2 is also solution to the system this this will be the interesting idea that we will be keeping on using in our upcoming uh, you know sessions where we will be solving different dynamical planar linear systems but but we have got another other theorem as well uh, that we will probably be stating without proof so here is a theorem that i'll be stating only let y1 of t and y2 of t be two solutions to x prime to be equal to ax and 
the vectors y1 of 0 and y2 of 0 are linearly independent then x of t to be equal to alpha times y alpha times y1 of t plus beta times y2 of t is unique solution to x prime to be equal to ax that satisfies x of 0 to be equal to alpha times y1 of 0 plus beta times y2 of 0. So this is going to be also very interesting in the future uh, especially this uniqueness that if these two are linearly independent then this solution is going to be unique. Okay, so let's move for the next session. Thank you. Thank you.